guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys this beautiful Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. And this is going to be kind of like a two-part video. So I'm going to show you in another video how I did the nails of this tutorial. That's why I'm kind of showing them off a lot. And it's pretty much Kylie Jenner poses. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. So you're going to want to start off by prepping the skin. If you have really oily skin like I do, this stuff is amazing. And I noticed that Kylie Jenner likes a super matte look. I also doubled up on the matteness with a full coverage matte foundation. Also from Makeup Forever. It is really good with like long uh, staying and for people with oily skin. And just blend that in using my beauty blender. For brows, I went with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. But this one was actually a little too light, but I just went ahead and filled in my entire eyebrow with it. And just to create some more dimension, I took a black eyeliner, only because Kylie Jenner's eyebrows are actually really, really dark. So what I like to do is just blend them up first with a spoolie. I took my black eyeliner and with a very small flat brush I just started to create lines just so it added some depth some dimension and it makes them look a little bit more natural than just pretty much um, filling in your entire eyebrow black so that's a good way to kind of transition or make your eyebrow a little bit darker if you wanted it to be and then this is totally optional but I just like to take a concealer and clean up under the brow One last step for the eyebrows, I'm just going to take a brow gel and just seal everything in place. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia palette and I'm just going to pick up the shade Nude. With a fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust this pretty much all over my lid. This is just going to make blending a lot easier. With the same brush, I'm going to pick up the color Caramel. And I'm going to blend this above my crease, kind of like in and above my crease. This is going to be the transition color. You want a really warm transition color, so if you don't have this palette, just kind of something warmish, brownish in that kind of color palette. I'm going to be taking my other Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is the World Traveler. I'm going to pick up Noir and Fudge and just mix those two together because I want a black, but nothing too, too black. So I'm going to use that and apply that just on the outer corners onto my lid. And then taking that same blending brush, I'm going to blend that into the crease. So it's just going to blend nice and seamless. And you also want to push the outer corners kind of outwards towards the end of the brow because it seems like her eyeshadow is kind of extended outwards like that. I'm taking the color Glisten. I'm going back into the Maya Mia palette. And with a wet brush, I'm going to pick up the product and just focus it in the center of my eyelid. And then just gradually blend it in both directions. But you want the main focus to be right in the very center. And then I'm also applying a small amount to the inner corners of my eyes for a little bit of highlight. Okay, now I'm going to take a concealer. This is my Naked Skin, one of my favorite concealers. I'm going to use this to sharpen up my eyeshadow and kind of just clean up under my eyes before I move on to any lower eyeshadow. I'm also going to take this time to highlight the bridge of my nose and in between my brows, like forehead area. I like to bring that down to my chin also. I'm going to take a dampen and beauty blender and then just blend away. Going into my Anastasia contour palette, I'm going to take the color banana. Just taking the beauty blender and I'm, I like to just pounce that right under the eyes. It gives a more kind of full coverage feel right under the eyes and it makes it so where it doesn't budge at all. And then I'm just going to take a brush and blend that in all directions. Okay, so moving back into my eyes, I'm going to take the color Caramel one more time. And I'm going to use this to blend under the eyes. This is, again, a transition color. 
I'm going to pick up a black gel liner and I'm going to use that to apply right in my waterline and kind of just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm going to extend it out or downwards a little bit and try to smudge that out. I also picked up the black shade Noir from the World Traveler palette and I'm going to use that to set the eyeliner and also just to further smudge it out. You want a really smudgy look. I'm going to take my NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm going to use this to create a pretty dramatic wing. I'm going to extend the outer corners a little bit further than I normally would and just thickening it up a little bit more than I would also. And with the inner corners, I'm going to extend them past my, um, what is this called, my tear duct just so I can get a really dramatic kind of cat eye type look. And then for the lashes, I chose my Salon Care 615 style, and the lashes that Kylie has in the pictures do not look anything like this. They're actually a little bit fuller and a little kind of straighter, but I literally, like, this is like my last pair of lashes, and I had no choice, but just something a little bit fuller I would do if I didn't have these lashes. I'm going to take my contour palette from Anastasia. This is the second one, and I'm just going to begin to contour my face. Kylie had a, she had a very soft contour, nothing too dramatic, so I'm just going to take lighter shades and just to kind of accentuate where my cheekbones are, but not carve anything out too dramatic. And I also chose a bigger brush to... Um, chisel out my nose because I want it again to be very soft. Now for my lip combo, I'm going to use a lip liner from MAC called Spice. I'm going to use this and just fill in my entire lip. I'm going to slightly overline and since the color I chose is a little bit too warm and too like pinkish, I decided to take another lip product. This one is from Boxum, one of my favorite lip products. This is in the shade Undressed, and I'm just going to go straight over that to make it a little bit softer and a little bit more nudish. Taking a concealer, I'm just going to sharpen the corners. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my latest videos, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Love you guys.